there is quite some history between the two teams here, so it's going to be very interesting. Oh yeah, definitely. We we had some interesting clashes. <laughs> All right, five, four, three, two, one, and it starts. And the fast is moving on there. Since that uh, ADC started uh, later. Yeah. Does it kind of switch positions now? Yeah, it's quite interesting move. Alright. Hello, Hapak. So, hey. Hello. So it is that uh, Pandrino is. Okay, so Dorvarich is now under uh, under fire. Yeah, it seems like the coach is focusing on Drevno, but he's he's evading. And went silent. Yep, indeed. That's probably the best move. Yeah, so the overage is uh, done to 90%. Our shields are back. Why does the action? It's very close fight, like uh, everything is grouped. It's very interesting. It's very nice. Where's Pond Reveno? Whoa, so they're killing the referee. I have a stock ship, so it's going to be <laughs> painful for me. Mango is running a shieldless uh, chieftain. Sorry, I had to talk with Harry. So the Varage is down to 82%. I guess it's... Indeed, 82. Hapak, if you want another commentator, you can just accept my friend uh, invite and then send me an invite. Uh, well, you have to ask with another run if you're allowed to get into yeah, the yeah, instance. Sure. <laughs> of course. Okay. Uh, send a friend request to my private group. So, oh, that's you. Yes, the Varage is quite under heavy fire, but he's doing great because he has quite some ship behind you. Behind him. So, so Lantushab, did you send me a uh, private group? Uh, Will do. And let me let me know when you do. So yeah, it's quite interesting because like the, the three ships of the card are following each other and really after that chieftain too, sorry. And uh, yeah, the spectre is going back. Alright, I send you the request. Alright. It is very nice fight to watch. Where's the other ADC guys? It's good, uh, lunch. Pan oh, Pandrevenu is down to 24%. Uh, yeah, I guess he hit uh, a rock. Mm -hmm. 
He's almost down. Six percent. Shields are gonna be up soon. And he's down. And he's down. So there is Mangal that is down to 50% health. So no, Tuscan is uh, under fire. And Mango is 59%. And uh, the fast Spectre is as well under heavy fire. I think Code is running a lot of PAs and ADC is running a lot of a lot of fragment cannons. Oh, that's, oh, that's uh, that was very painful, and uh, Tuscan is going to die most likely. He's uh, shieldless and eight percent. Oh yeah, six percent. He's dead. All right. Yeah, that's for uh, that road was uh, quite a mistake. But it happens. That's the danger. He's trying to run away. Or he's trying to buy time to his team, and that's the best he can do for now. And he's gone. So, so Spectre is. Doing great is quite surviving for now. Yeah, but it's 4v2 right now, right? It is indeed 4v2, and there is a. Yeah, he's at the rain of multi cannons, which is very nice looking, but quite uh, quite painful for uh, the hellship. Mango is at 45. Oh, I hate the ride. That was very painful uh, for me. I'm going to take some distance. Mango is at 22%. The inspector is at 44 30. Yeah. Trying to run, I guess. It went, it went cold now. No, I just lost it. Okay, so much is still at 90%. Yeah, but. Uh, yeah, this chieftain almost didn't take any damage at all. Yeah, it's quite impressive, I have to be, uh, to be honest. Shields are back uh, for Spectre, but uh, he's at 20%, 28%. Following him. Yeah. Oh, oh he is just eight rock and that was painful, but he didn't lose too much. Another rock. So, Spectre lost his, uh, his shields, but he still has 20% health. Oh, there was a collision right now between shields, I think. So, Subitus is at 14, 7. Is, is, is Mango dead already? Subitus is almost gone for sure. Subitus is gone. But where's Mangal? Is he dead already? Yes. Yeah, he's dead already. That's it. All right, that should be all of us on the rules check. Yeah, it's a bit me. Uh, it's a double reach. 
the ink keeps dropping. If anyone's interesting, I have a delivery contract. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, really? Yeah, yeah, hey, I hey, hey. like three today. So, all right, so go, go, go. And we've already got a rock hit on uh, AEDC size. So oh, just has hit a rock. Yeah, but uh, we'll see if he's the main target. They didn't. I don't think they saw that. Currently, it looks like Fly Auburn is taking some fire from AEDC. Yep, he is no flying evasive. Mangle is already broken at 91%. He doesn't have a shield generator. He's gonna go in. Yeah, so he's not being shot. I think he just hit a rock. Alright, Fly Auburn is soon uh, done to two shit. Who's Code's main focus? I think it's uh, Dover Rich. Um, yeah, right looks now. like it. Oh, He's going to one shed. Yeah, it was a nice flip from him. Oh, that's the ships. But I'm not sure the Varage is playing evasive anymore, so. I think they're focusing on Fly Ever. Player brings the focus from uh, IADC, definitely. He's taking some heavy fire as well. He's already on half a ring and banking. Half a shield and banking. Yeah, he's banking. Let's see if he gets his gate off. Yeah, yeah he uh, got it there. definitely there. But the race missed. You think so? Yeah. And there is this, this uh, <laughs> wing of gunship enjoying the fight around. It's a really close fight. It like, is indeed closer for no than the previous fight. Like at least distance wise. But uh yeah, it's a bit of a brawl right now. And Reno is back to 31 person now, so he's quite in danger. And yeah. Oh bird is banking again. I think he got it through. I think uh, Pan is going cold. Mengal is at uh, 80% with his chip, so I think it's probably going to be the second target if they can take Pandrino down. Pandrino's probably going to die quite quickly before uh, Flyover loses his shield. Subitus is also down to 93% and uh, he's just gaining back his shield. Looks like Fly's out of banks. Yeah, but that was a nice move from him, like he just avoided that asteroid beautifully. No, Fly is banking right yeah, now. Yeah, banking late though. That's always a really big mistake people oh, make. He hit a rock. He hit the rock. He still shoots shoot at the camera. He maybe had some heat issues, I don't know. You really should never wait that long to bank because it makes you so vulnerable and people are just more ready to oh, hit you. Oh, that's another uh, shield. Oh, he's, he's going to lose his shields. He ate another rock. Revenue is at 21%, that's pretty low. Fly is still going to outlast him at this point. Looks like XX Spectre also hit a rock. Uh, Pandrino, Pandrino is back to 21 person now. Bit of a straight line chase now with Fly, trying to outrun everyone. But it appears that now we have two groups uh, separated. There was like Fly on one side and Pandrino being in the fire. Well, Pandrino is desperately trying to catch up, but he's going to die before he gets anywhere near it. Uh, he's at 8% now. It's a shame that people are trying to outrun their opponents when they all own the same ships. You really can't outrun the people that are in the same ships as you and running in a straight line just makes you more vulnerable. Oh, somebody hit a rock. Was... Yes, but AEDC is playing mostly uh, Chipman right now. Actually, the yeah. two wings are uh, have absolutely total different models. Which Pandrino is really not going to outrun 
Just trying to outrun. As you can see, he just got hit again. Once he loses that shield, he's absolutely screwed. Mengar is at 61% as well. 2% on Padrino, and he's gonna die soon. 1%. Yep. I just tuned in who's winning this fight right now. Alright, that's the first blood for this fight. So now I wonder who will be the next target. Looks like it's gonna be Maybe Mangar. Mangar. Yeah, he's at 61%, so that would make sense, but he's not on a fire right now. Yeah, Malche is actually just banked again. He was at almost, he was at only one ring. Do you have some is news uh, from Flyover? Is Fly I think Flyover might be dead at this point. Uh, I don't see him anymore. Yeah, he's dead, definitely, I think. It's Malchi who's taking the next fire yeah. point at this point. And he's almost broken as well. One and a half rings. Indeed, and uh, he got some uh, phasing, apparently. ADC doesn't have phasing. Yeah. Oh, he had a rocket. That's possible. Ugh, I'm losing the action. Tuscan's low as well. Half a ring. Yeah, and you're like spreading out their fire, really doing quite a lot of damage to these guys. Sabitus is doing really good. Mango is still at 61. How many of uh, AEDC are left? I think it's three. Stack also right lost his shield and he's at 89. Nice. Tuscan's about to break. That would mean another kill for Code. And the AEDC really needs to grab back the, the pace here, otherwise they're going to lose completely. It doesn't look like they're going to be able to keep up though. This can 86. This driver at 72 percent, so... Yeah, he cooked himself, definitely. That's where the initial damage came from. Oh, he hit a rock. And he hit a rock. Oh, that was a hard hit. Oh, I'm really close to the action. Maybe I should get out of there. Mangle seems to have taken more damage, but I don't know if he's taken fire. No, maybe they dropped some shot on him when they had the opportunity, but I'm not sure he has been fucked. Or it could have just but been the rocks again. Yeah, but that would be a lot of rocks, he's at 53%. Uh... Oh, he's at 60%. And it looks like Malche has been able to tank all the damage from AEDC. He's still not lost his shields, and he was—he's actually regained some mega jewels through bank. This gun is uh, probably going to die soon. It, yeah, is so that it's either going to be a rock or it's going to be a few PA hits, and he's out. But for now, the code is missing quite some shots. Mangles at 43 now. I That's think he's been hitting rocks because it doesn't look like anyone's on him and honestly at this point they would be. I don't think they would lose the focus from Tristan. Yeah, no, they wouldn't have lost the focus. He's just been hitting rocks and he's losing a lot of health to it. Yeah, but Tuscan is not under fire anymore, so maybe they are switching to Mango. I think they are still chasing him, he's just really yeah. doing a really good job evading. Yeah, he's going full evasive right now. Indeed, but he, he wasn't going eventually. very right. fast, so I was surprised. Okay, he's back. He's at 25 now. Yeah, a broken FDL is quite a surprisingly small hitbox. It can be hard to hit. You just need to get the right angle, and you've got him though. He, was more, he almost lost his cargo hatch. <laughs> then he's doomed completely. Exactly. Malch is almost broken. If ADC can take him out, but they won't be able to take him out before Tusk can die. There you go, he's broken. Taking quite some initial firepower. 60%. Tus Tuscan's at 8%. He's gonna die soon. Malch is at 59. His FTL, no shields. They're putting on the fire on Malch, it's quite impressive actually. Yeah, he's doing great. Four percent for uh, Tuscan. 
Tusk is gonna die though. He's trying to do damage to Malchi, but if he's going in a straight line, he's just gonna make it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. An easy he's target. Dead. Well, he evaded them for quite some time. Yeah, but then he focused on damage dealing, and honestly, at that point, you really should focus on giving your wing more time, because now Malch has got less to worry about. Mango's at 31. 28 person for Marches. All Malch needs to do now is stay evasive, and Code will have the numbers advantage for quite some time. Yeah. 28 person, 18 person. It's taking quite a lot of multi cannon fire though, doesn't seem to have enough chaff. Oh, maybe it's fixed. There is a oh, ship full multi cannon, I think. Mango is running away. Oh, um, Melges is at 70%, 15. There you go, if he hits a rock now, he's completely dead. But Mango's gonna die just as fast as he is, I think. Maybe a little bit slower, but at that point, you've only got. Really, one ship to worry about on the ABC's team, and it's just going to be a 1v. Yeah. It's a close fight, certainly, but predictably, Code is going to pull this one out. Probably. Yeah, the odds are uh, with them for now. 10%? We don't know. We don't know. Everything. We'll see who goes down first, actually. 2% for Mango, so. Looks like Mangle's actually going to die first, which surprises me a little bit. He's Then again, he's again focusing on damage output, which he really shouldn't be doing right. But Mango was like quite damage ready when they started to... Yeah, yeah he hit a lot of rocks and that. So he's gone. Off his home. He's gone. Yeah, so Mango is gone. dead now. So now everything will depend on how they kill uh, Heroes of One. Well, Subitus is a bit of a dilemma here. He has to kill Malcha, and he can do do it definitely, but he's going to lose a lot of health in the first few seconds of trying to kill Malcha. But as long as he can get those multis down enough, there you go. As long as Malcha dies at this 0%, point, and there goes the explosion. Is he dead? Yeah. So now what? The only chance Subitus really has now is to focus on uh, XX Spectre. Yeah, exactly. He has he's to do already the damage at the FAS. Um, if he starts person. running now, he's completely screwed. But he, Subitux appears to be running. I think he's trying to get his shields back on. Yeah, that would make sense. But he can't win if he starts if he keeps running because the chieftain just isn't a very evasive ship. It's a damage dealer, and you need to face your opponent. Indeed, but in two rocks, it's quite different, I think. Again. Unfortunately, yeah, he's getting yeah. torn apart right now. Yeah, 28 no percent. damage. And uh, there was the ship to as well. He's focusing on the overage, which you really shouldn't be doing. He's got a squishier FAS next to him, which has lost more health. And there you go. He's gonna die very quickly now. Uh, you got rent. You got rent. Yeah, got some damage uh, to the overage as well. Yeah. Done some damage, but he's just staying in one place and he's making himself such an easy target for the PAs for the FA. Yeah, he's, he's dead. He's, he's dead. He's out. Alright. He's still flying. Look, he's got a shield back. Oh. Yeah, oh, that's impressive. That's like. Zero percent. Dollar. There you go. Now he's just gotta somehow keep those shields up, but if that FAS is phasing, he's doomed. I guess at this point he's doomed anyways. He's doomed, but you know, for how long? Yeah, that's quite impressive. Let's, uh, let's see how good are his shields. Oh, he's going to be more conservative now with his health, pool, that's for sure. But every time he stalls out like that, he's just going to make himself super easy to hit. He's, he's out in the open well. now. Yeah. Yeah, he's gone. Having his shields. Oh, indeed. And no. there now he's That's at this it. point. Rest in peace. Let's have a streamer battle. Alright. Streamer battle royale. Oh, okay, sorry, I wasn't uh, <laughs> listening. It's fine, I'm, but uh, I'm stuck, you know? <laughs> oh. 
same speed. I'm leaving the wing because otherwise sign out running doesn't work right. <laughs> It's me. My target did you wait sync. Oh, these dolphins have terrible laterals. It's hard to are you ready to say bye to your canopy? Yeah, almost. <laughs> oh, I'm not inside not running, I didn't even see it. Oh, I missed that. Do you still have your canopy, Hapak? Yeah. You just touched that one. Oh, that's the heat signal. That's not you. <laughs> Where are you? He's right here. Facing him. Behind you. I forgot I couldn't use my heatsink because I had no power and system. I was like, why am I overcooking? Oh, there you go. Under attack. Hey, hey, hey. We're targeting. Oh, I should have made a video. That was fun. <laughs>